people, I'm back. Welcome to my channel. This is Bob. So today, we discuss natin yung uh, six principles of security. So ano ba yung uh, belief uh, ng security uh, provisions? Kung sa police meron din silang principles, paniniwala nila. And then kung sa AAP meron din sila. So itong we discuss natin is that uh, sa security. Ano ba yung principles of uh, security? But before that, gusto ko muna batiin lahat ng subscribers ko. Uh, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo sa pag-support walang saong pag-support sa channel na to and then doon sa mga magsusubscribe pa lang uh, maraming maraming salamat din in advance right so meron lang po tayong 6 uh, principles of security na i-discuss natin one by one so, ano ba yung paniniwala ng isang security so ang principles beliefs no? So number one here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is that there is no absolute security. Ibig sabihin walang uh, complete nga uh, security, 100%. Dahil uh, kung pagplanuhin ka talaga, kaya't ang dami pa ng bodyguards mo, kaya't ang dami pa ng security mo, oh, mapipinetrate ka pa rin. So yun ang uh, isa sa mga principle or number one principles ng security. There is no absolute or complete security. So, naglalagay tayo ng uh, security. The purpose is that deterrent or prevention. No? So, that's why uh, lagi nating sinasabi sa mga security personnel natin or even in the police na dapat maging visible doon sa area para mawala ng opportunity yung mga uh, gustong gumawa ng krimen. No? So for example, sa phone shop, ito pinaka-basic example lang. Kung ikaw isang security doon, visible ka lagi doon sa area mo, ibig sabihin, yung opportunity ng uh, magnanakaw o robbers is mawawala. Kaysa naman pag hindi ka nakikita doon sa area ng yun, of course, 100% makukompleto yung uh, elements ng crime. No? So, lagi nating tandaan that there is three elements of crime. That the ability opportunity and uh, design. So, pag nakompleto yung tatlong yon, ibig sabihin mayroong krimen na mangyayari. So, that's why, ang dapat gawin ng isang security or security personnel is that we need to eliminate one component of the crime. No? For example, tanggalin natin yung opportunity, ibig sabihin 100% walang uh, krimen na mangyayari. Pero pag makompleto yung tatlong component na yon, Uh, asahan din natin 100% mayroong crime na mangyayari. So that's why, uh, naglalagay tayo ng mga security personnel no, at lagi natin ina-advise to be visible in the area para ma-eliminate yung opportunity ng mga uh, gustong gumawa ng krimen. Yung triangle of the crimes. Bonus yan. So number two here is that <coughs> high relative security can be achieved in the No? So, for example, untrain yung security personnel mo, so hindi natin ma-achieve ma yung goal ng isang uh, goal ng isang company kung bakit sila nag-hired ng security. Ano? Bakit ba sila nag-hired ng security? Of course, to protect the assets of the company. Of Number course. one, goal ng uh, owner, why they hired the security. Now, kung ang security personnel is that uh, untrained, ibig sabihin, hindi ma-achieve yung goal. No, so that's why kailangan ang lahat ng security personnel dapat is trained. So, yan ang yung secret nila. Number three is that no two facilities have the same security. Of course, magkaiba-ibang design yan. Kasi pinaka-basic example natin dito, ang uh, facilities mo is, uh, for example, hotel, i-compare mo sa mall, so magkakaibang uh, security needs yan. Okay? So, pag 5-star hotel ka, of course, kailangan maging uh, approachable ka. But for to implement the policy and procedures. Magkakaiba naman yung implementation or needs ng uh, factory. Dahil doon, puro employees lang yung hawak ng uh, security or hinaharap ng security at saka yung owners and high positions in the management. No? Pag sa hotel, maraming bossing. Number one mong boss is that yung guest and then yung higher in higher position sa uh, company. So, so that's why pag sa hotel ka, napakaraming boss. Right? So that is the number three. No two facilities have the same security needs. 
walang dalawang facility na iisa lang yung security needs nila. Magkakaibang security needs yan. So, tandaan natin. Number four is that harm or danger may came from uh, outside or inside the facility. Of course, no? Penetrators, rubbers, pwedeng manggagaling sa internal and then pwedeng manggagaling sa external. Pag sinasabi natin internal is internal is that refers to employee sa kulig. No? Um, pwede nilang gawin yung tips doon. No? Pag nanakaw. If we're talking about the outside, that is refers to not connected to the company. No? So, yun ang tawag natin. Uh, internal source of the crime and external source of the crime. So, dalawa lang yan. Right? So, that is the number four. Uh, penetrators or rubbers may came from outside or internal. Pag sinabing internal, that is refers to employees. Pag sinasabing external, that is refers to uh, outside people or not connected to the company. Okay? So, number five is that security is everybody's concern. Of course, pag sinabi natin security, lahat concern natin yan. So, that's why nandito tayo para i-educate lahat ng people to be aware for their security. Hindi lang responsibilidad ng security guard dyan. You are also responsible for your own security. Right? So, dapat maging uh, ganun yung mindset natin para at least mabawasan natin yung uh, cremain sa uh, bansa natin. And of course, no? Siguro wala nang uh, incident na mangyayari pag everybody is concerned with the security. Pero pag ikaw lang bahala natin yan, uh, 100% kaliwa ka ng yung incident. Alright? So, number 6 is that there is no impenetrable barriers. No? So, walang pwedeng hindi mapapinetrate na barriers or security. Ang barriers that is refers to uh, pwedeng human security, pwedeng animal uh, barriers pwedeng physical barriers and then uh, mayroon akong vlog yan kung gusto nyo uh, malaman what are the five types of uh, barriers i-scroll nyo lang yung uh, channel kung makikita nyo yung types of barriers okay so again sa number 6 there, number six, there is no unpenetrable barriers walang hindi pwedeng mapasok na barriers lahat yan ay kayang kayang ipipenetrate no? so for example uh, high profile ka Pag planuhin kang uh, patayin, talagang kayang-kaya ka patayin kahit punuhin ka pa ng bodyguard. Deploy lang ng mga personal bodyguard para mawala yung opportunity. I recap ko lang, uh, six principles of security. Number one is that there is no absolute or complete security. And then number two is that high relative security can be achieved in death. No? And then number three is that no two facilities have the same security. Walang uh, dalawang facilities na magkapareho ng security needs. Tandaan natin yan. Magkaiba-iba lagi yan. Number four is that <coughs> penetrators or harm or danger may become from uh, internal or outsource. So, pinag pinag uh, pag sinasabi natin internal that is refers to employees no, of the company. Pag sinasabi natin uh, outside that is refers to people not connected to the company. Pwede mga bystanders dyan kung sino man yun. Right? Okay? So, number uh, six is that security is everybody's concern. So, lahat naman tayo concern sa ating security. So, dapat maging ganun yung mindset natin. And then, lastly is that there is no unpenetrable barriers. So, walang hindi pwedeng mapipenetrate na types of barriers. Lahat pwedeng pwedeng mapipenetrate yan pag pinalunuhan ka ng uh, maigi. So, again, uh, number six is that, or last, is that there is no unpenetrable barriers. Pwedeng pwede kang ipipenetrate kahit gaano kayo kahit. So, that's why uh, para malos yung uh, oportunidad ng mga may balak gumawa ng krimen is that ini-educate natin lagi yung security and then nag i place tayo ng mga security system para mawala yung opportunity nila. Andun yung desired, andun yung motive, no? or andun yung opportunity. Alin man sa tatlong yun ang mawala, pag walain mo yung opportunity, ibig sabihin, 
Pero pag kompleto yung triangle prime, ibig sabihin mayroong krimen na mangyayari. So para hindi mangyayari yung krimen na yun, you need to eliminate one parts of prime triangle. Okay? Alright, so that's it mga lang people. Kung nagustuhan itong uh, video na ito, mag-subscribe, mag-like, mag-share, and mag-comment. Kung mayroong gustong uh, topic na discuss, mag-comment lang sa comment section and then i-discuss natin. Okay, so hanggang dito na lang. I'm out and I'll be back for another interesting topic. Bye-bye!